Hello everyone, welcome to tonight's episode of Poetry Live. Tonight, I'll be doing some Rudyard Kipling. So, big hello to everyone. Welcome as we go and get into tonight. Very, very much looking forward to doing this. We have got If, by the way, for those, I know I've had special requests in for If by Kipling. So, we have definitely got If sorted, all sorted, in place, you'll be able to enjoy uh, that. Hello Stephen, hello, 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 oh, hello Tuba, hello. How are you, how are you all? Hello, hello Taz, hello, hello, and games again, again, hello, 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 and Kathy. Hello everyone, welcome, welcome to tonight's show. I hope you're all in a wonderful Friday mood. Uh, I know I am, so. Hello, hello. Are oh, you looking forward to this? I am. Hello, Arcadina. Hello, hello. We. I was I was trying to prep for this at the end of um, Le Mort d'Arthur just before this, and some of you may have seen that I was slightly let down by the uh, North by the Oxford Anthology of Great English Poetry. Very very light on the Kipling. Shocking, but. Um, for those of you who may have studied English literature at university level, this good old tome came in handy. Um, the Norton Anthology. I knew, I knew I could get sorted with something in the end. But don't worry, we are, we are well, well sorted. So hello, 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 come in. Come in everyone, come in, we'll give it another minute or so before we get started with tonight's show. But um, it'll be good. We will read if. I'll read if. I'll probably do if as our final poem of the night. So if you want if, you'll have to either stay to the end or catch it on replay later if you've got to leave early. I know some of you have to leave early. That's okay. Um, but in the meantime, plenty, plenty of poetry to introduce you to along the way. Um, still. Welcome, welcome to tonight's show. Hello, 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 hello. Here we are, hello Sarah. Hi, hi, hi. Let's get into tonight's Rudyard Kipling then. I'm gonna open with Danny Diva. Um, hope you guys enjoy this one. What are the bugles blowing for? said files on parade, to make you turn out, to turn you out, the colour sergeant said. What makes you look so white, so white, said files on parade, I'm dreading what I've got to watch, the colour sergeant said, for they're hanging Danny Diva, you can hear the dead march play. The regiments in Ollo Square, they're hanging him today. They've taken off his buttons and cut his stripes away. And they're hanging Danny Diva in the morning. What makes the rear rank breathe so hard, said Files on parade. It's bitter cold, it's bitter cold, the colour sergeant said. What makes that front rank man fall down, said Files on parade. A touch of sun, a touch of sun, the colour sergeant said. They are hanging Danny Diva. They are marching of him round. They have altered Danny Diva by his coffin on the ground. And he'll swing in half a minute for a sneaking shooting hound. Oh, they're hanging Danny Diva in the morning. His cop was right and caught to mine, said Files on parade. He's sleeping out and far tonight, the colour sergeant said. I've drunk his beer a score of times, said Files on parade. He's drinking beer alone, the colour sergeant said. They are hanging Danny Diva. You must mark him to his place, for he shot a comrade sleeping. You must look him in the face. 
Nine hundred of his country and the regiment's disgrace. While they're hanging Danny Diva in the morning. What's that so black against the sun? Said Files on parade. It's Danny fighting hard for his life, the colour sergeant said. What's that whimpers overhead? Said Files on parade. It's Danny's song that's passing now, the colour sergeant said. For they're done with Danny Diva. You can hear the quick step play. The regiment's in column and they're marching us away. Oh, the young recruits are shaking and they'll want their beer today. After hanging Danny Diva in the morning. There we go. A nice bit. Well, not nice. Not, they're not necessarily nice, but... A well-told piece of narrative poetry from Kipling, who was a wonderfully, wonderfully well-accomplished um, short story writer, as well as being a poet. Um, so, yes. And, of course, they're mixing it up together entirely with things like Puck of Puck's Hill. So I hope you guys enjoyed that as a quick intro to our first poem by Rudyard Kipling. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Cathy. Um, yes, tale of Danny Deaver hanged for shooting a colleague while he slept. We'll move on now for our next poem, continuing in that kind of lyrical, lyrical sing-song narrative story. More, They are more songs than poems, really, aren't they? This one is The Widow at Windsor. Have you heard of the widow of Windsor, with a hairy gold crown on her head? She has ships on the foam, she has millions at home, and she pays us poor buggers in red. Oh, poor buggers in red. There's her nick on the cavalry horses, there's her mark on the medical stores, and her troops you'll find with a fair wind behind that takes us to various wars. Poor beggars, barbarous wars. Then ears to the widow at Windsor, and ears to the stores and the guns, the men and the horses, what makes up the forces are Mrs. Victoria's sons. Poor beggars, Victoria's sons. Walk wider, the widow at Windsor, for half a creation she owns. We have bought her the same with the sword and the flame, and we've sorted it down with our bones. Poor beggars, it's blue with our bones. Hands off the sons of the window, hands are the goods in her shop. For the king must come down, and the emperor's frown, when the widow at Windsor says stop. Poor beggars were sent to say stop. Then ears to the lodge of the widow, from the pole to the tropics it runs. To the lodge that we tile with the rank and the file and open in form with the guns. Poor beggars, it's always the guns. We have heard of the widow at Windsor. It's safest to leave her alone, for as centuries we stand by the sea and the land, wherever the bugle's bit blown. Poor beggars, and don't we get blown. Take hold of the wings of the morning and flop round the earth till you're dead. But you won't get away from the tune that they play to the blooming old rag overhead. Poor beggars, it's hot overhead. Then ears to the sons of the widow, wherever, however they roam. Ears all they desire, and if they require a speedy return to their home. Poor beggars, they'll never see home. Of course, the widow at Windsor being the late Queen Victoria. I made a widow after Alfred died. 
nice sense of Cockney slang coming in here from Rudyard Kipling. And I hope, hope that you enjoyed my attempt, my vague attempt at a Cockney. I assure you, nothing was put on. I was just following the notation as left in the poem. Thank you, Cathy. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Um, we'll move away from having such strong, such strong dialect uh, tones here as we go to our next poem. Um, a slightly more reflective poem, not quite as narrative as last one's. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you. As our next poem of the night, we go for recessional. God of our fathers, known of old. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. And hello, Arcadina. I'll start the one again. Just like to say thank you. Thank you. God of our fathers, known of old. Lord of our far-flung battle line, beneath whose awful hand we hold dominion over palm and pine. Lord God of hosts, be with us yet, lest we forget, lest we forget. The tumult and the shouting dies, the captains and the kings depart. Still stands thine ancient sacrifice, and humble and the contrite heart. Lord God of hosts, be with us yet, lest we forget, lest we forget. Far called our navies melt away, on dune and headland sinks the fire. Lo, all our pomp of yesterday is one with Nivena and Tyre. Judge of the nation, spare us yet, lest we forget, lest we forget. If drunk with sight of power, we lose such tongues that have not thee in awe. Such boasting as the Gentiles use, or lesser breeds without the law. Lord God of hosts, be with us yet, lest we forget, lest we forget. For heathen heart that puts her trust in reeking tube and iron shard. All valiant dust that builds on dust and guarding calls not thee to guard. For frantic boast and foolish word. Thy mercy on thy people, Lord. Really? You Susan, are you a... Um, he says, I hope everything's... I know there have been two shootings uh, in the US today. Um, he says... Trying to get some news there. I hope I hope everything's okay uh, with Susan and in the states at the moment. Um, it seems like the U.S. is having a very tough time at the moment. So, I uh, yeah, my heart does go out to anyone who's been affected by those awful, awful shootings there. I know we've had two two shootings today uh, that have taken place, which is awful, awful. Um, he says, trying to get some news. Uh, I think what I'll do, I'll just finish off with the last poem uh, for tonight, he says, checking Wow. Do you know I? Wow, I'm... Um... 
bad times um, at the moment. So yeah, hearts do hearts do go out to anyone affected by that. We'll just do one uh, last poem for tonight uh, and call now. I'm okay. I'm okay, Alcata. I just, I just do. Um, Susan said there'd been another shooting um, over um, at a university in the states. Um, which yeah, I'm not sure. I've got lots of yeah. I know there were I know there were two today. Um, I wasn't sure if there was a third one that had suddenly taken place. Um, so not sure quite what's going on there. But clearly, clearly a black day um, for a lot of people out there. So I hope Susan's okay and that um, she's not being personally affected um, by it. Anyway, we will just do one. Last poem, which I think actually, I think, possibly, given today's events, actually possibly, yeah, has, has some added resonance. I've, I've got Texas and Arizona as well. I've, I've popped up CNN uh, in the background. So I'm not sure if Susan got her information late about the ones um, that we had before or if it's fresh, although possibly it is. There is something, uh, yeah, huge, huge worry. Absolutely. Um, I think there is something particularly sad when we get to the point of these things becoming so regular that we now don't know um, that they all start to kind of blend into each other. But we'll just finish up with one, one last poem, which is if. Ab absolutely, I couldn't, I couldn't agree more um, with you. It is truly, truly heartbreaking, Jackie. Um, but. We'll read if as our last poem today, which I think bearing in mind the amount of chaos taking place at the moment probably does have a message in that I think we can all take home. Um, one which I think I wish um, lawmakers might learn um, a little bit more often. That's terrible, isn't it? They sh you should never have, should never have that number. Um... Never. Mm. Very much so. Anyway, let's... Do you know what? Ladies and gents, I'm sorry. I am going to switch poem on you. I don't, don't want to read if, I'm going to change, change poem if that's alright with you all, which I hope it is, let me, the poem that I'd like to read you all instead, actually. We'll read it for another time, because I know there are folks who have asked for it, but I'd just like to close tonight on Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage. Rage against the dying of the light. Though wise men at their end know dark is right, because their words had fought no lightning, they do not go gentle into that good night. 
Good men the last wave by, crying how bright their frail deeds might have danced in a green bay. Rage. Rage against the dying of the light. Wild men who caught and sang the sun in flight and learned too late. They grieved it on its way. Do not go gentle into that good night. Grave men near death who see with blinding sight, blind eyes could blaze like meteors and be gay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. It will get better, folks. It will get better. Thank you. Thank you for joining me for that, ladies and gents. Thank you. Um, I hope that said something to you. I hope that did. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. You're all a wonderful, kind loving community and thank you thank you for just coming together every night um to take part in this and share this thank you and um, i hope that you and all your friends and families are safe tonight um i hope that you are well protected and hearts do go out to anyone who's affected by today's horrible events um, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. I will see you back here again at uh, the same time on Monday. And, and we'll do some more poetry then. Have a very, very nice weekend, everybody. Stay safe. Good night, all of you. Thank you so much for all your kindness and your support. And thank you for sharing this with me tonight. Thank you. Bye-bye.